I grieve over the political tribalism amongst God's people, not because I don't have my own political views, but because I ache at seeing Christians define themselves first and foremost through their politics rather than their relationship with Jesus. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond and welcome again to Fresh. You see it all the time, don't you? Left against right, vaxxers against anti-vaxxers, pro-life against pro-choice. And sure, that's what you'd expect out there in the world where sin unsurprisingly rules the roost. But surely not amongst God's people, where according to Jesus, we should stand out by how much we love one another. At the one end of the political scale, Christians seem capable of espousing, as Kerry Newhoff puts it, graceless truth with such vitriol that it crushes people with the hard edge of the truth. And often what emanates from the other end is truthless grace with that if it feels good, do it mantra that's unwittingly leading people to a Christless eternity. What a mess God's church is in with schisms that run so deep that no one seems to have the power to heal them. Enter Jesus. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory, glory as of the only son from the father, full of grace and truth. For from his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. That is, the law was given to us through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Did you pick it? Jesus is full of grace and truth. And that's precisely what you and I are called to as well, not to political tribalism. Is it easy to be gracious and truthful all at the same time? Not at all. That's why we each need Jesus to be full of grace and truth. And that's God's word, fresh for you today. The closer we draw to Jesus, the deeper that relationship becomes, the more we end up becoming all that he made us to be. That's why I'd love to send you a free copy of our special edition book, Your Road to a Stunning Life. To request yours, stop by at ChristianityWorks.com and you'll see that free offer right there towards the top of the homepage. Again, that's ChristianityWorks.com.